May you find the blessings of this day that God has placed before you. I do warn you, however, some blessings are far more than we had hoped or imagined. The early followers of the Blessed Saviour found the outpourings of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit too much for the onlookers to absorb. Blessings can be too much at once for many people to handle. Like a starving person, ingesting food too quickly may lead to an overload in the system. Or even a thirsting person taking in too much water at once, their body cannot absorb such a sudden jolt of fluids. Non-believers have difficulty understanding the blessings that God bestows on all beloved children. I encourage you to take heart and stand steadfast in your faith if you receive jeers, resentment, and cruelty from those who witness your compassion and love as you serve the children of God. We are not trying to win a popularity contest, we are attempting to win over hearts and souls as we serve out of love and compassion. I pray that the Holy Spirit will make your intentions known to all who witness your caring ministry. It is difficult for anyone to understand the love of God until they receive it. You can never go wrong in serving the needs of others. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only 9 in the morning. Acts 2.15 Sometimes people may look at you and think unkind thoughts or say hurtful things about us. Some early followers were gifted with the ability to speak other languages. Some onlookers thought a spiritual blessing was the result of too much wine. You can never have too much of me. Don't let the world tell you that you are too spiritual or religious. My gifts to you are for the service to others. Use my gifts to your benefit, the service of others, and for my glory. Compliments and congratulations are not always byproducts of Christian service. On the contrary, many may think your love and kindness to be rather odd. I hold close to my heart what the world sees as weird or strange. Be intentional in your service and generous in whom you minister. I freely spoke through the tongues of the apostles, so that many would understand the message. I was generous so that all would receive my words. Do likewise with little concern about the random thoughts of bystanders. It is your mission to be in my service. Serve me well, and understanding will naturally follow. Let the bystanders scoff and laugh if they will. Their outer utterances will undoubtedly change if your compassionate ministry turns toward them. Christian service is always the outpouring of my love, this can be understood in every language. Remember, love breaks down all barriers. Thank you again for your precious time. I hope our short encounters bring you inspiration and encouragement. If these meetings positively touch you, would you consider sharing them with a friend? Blessings are far more effective when they are multiplied. I would like to leave you with this prayer. Empowering Spirit, come upon your children again and give us the spiritual power to make your presence known. Fill our hearts with unfailing compassion and love for all people. Even if we are misunderstood in our actions, let your love speak to the hearts of those who witness our ministries. When our words fail, may you speak through us. If our efforts fail, we pray you will empower us to move forward. When we feel the world is against us, let us know that you are for us. God bless us, Savior redeem us, and Holy Spirit empower us. Send us into the world to share your love, but keep us close, so we remain in your grace. If you are interested in more spiritual guidance and support, I invite you to visit spirit-calling-book.com Remember nothing is closer to you than the Spirit of God.